Horses, tigers, and elephants, oh my! Let's go on a circusy adventure. Hello and welcome to Capricious Conversations. Thank you for joining me today. Today, we're going to talk about a new experience that I had, a brand new experience. I did something this past Thursday that I have never done in my entire life. I went to the circus. And do you know something? It was amazing. It was, it was awesome. It was awesome. Like, I had no idea what to expect aside from like, you know, uh, little clips of movies, like my favorite is in Big Fish because he actually worked for the circus. And I wanted the circus to be like that. And do you know what? It was like that. It was so like that. It was so big fishy and it was wonderful and just like everything that I wanted it to be. It was beautiful. It was really, the, the, it was visually stunning and everything that they did and had was just so out of this world, you know? And I think like that is the allure of the circus. Like you just want to go and see something that you would never see otherwise. I got to ride an elephant, which I was super excited about. I love elephants so much. I've gotten to ride an elephant one other time. And it was just, uh, it's so beautiful. And I, I love so much. The people who work with these animals love these animals. Like, love these animals. They pour their heart and soul into these animals. They, they spend their lives training them. They spend their lives taking care of them. They just pour themselves into these animals. And I, you know, you can see the love that they have for them, you know, with the trainers, um, with the animals, especially like the elephants and the tigers, because they would stand there and just like, you know, stroke them and talk so gently and kindly to them. And I was really impressed with the love that these people had for their animals, but also their entire team. And you'll see here in a second, I got to talk to some of the people that worked there, that worked at the circus. And just to hear them talk about like how much of a family it is was amazing. So without further ado, here is my night at the circus. Okay, so today on Capricious Conversations, we are going, as you saw in the teaser, to the circus. That's right, the circus. I have never been to the circus before in my life, so I'm pretty excited about it. I have no idea what to expect. It's going to be fun. Um, but we finally found it, and there is actually a circus happening tonight. Yes, we are going to it, and there's elephants, and I'm super psyched about it. Um, other interesting note, it is, today is Thursday, May 18th, and it is snowing. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Alright, so we made it to the circus, and I am just about to ride this elephant. Hold on. He's such a big guy! His ears are tickling my feet! I love elephants so much! The hair is kind of rough. I didn't actually expect that. He's super sweet though. I'm really happy that I get to ride him and spend some time with this beautiful, beautiful animal. Because he is so beautiful and so big and so sweet. These guys are like gentle giants for real. I love this guy. I love him. Jose Ayala. Ayala? That is a beautiful name. <laughs> Thank you. So, Jose is in a group with the Amazing Ayalas, right? The and Ayala they, family. Yeah. You'll see pictures up right here. These guys, you do a lot of like pole acrobatics. Like uh, we do a perch pole acrobatics, which is basically you put a pole on your shoulder and people climb up in the top and do uh, tricks and stuff, handstands and stuff up there. And you're like, you're the foundation, right? You're the pole holder? Yeah, I'm the one that uh, has to carry all the people. <laughs> <laughs> but you're, you gotta be strong then, right? Yeah. A little bit. <laughs> so, Jose, how long have you been with the circus? Uh, with the Jordan War Circus, I've been about three years, but in the circus, uh, seven generations on my dad's side, wow. four generations on my mom's side. That's so awesome. So, how did you guys, how did your family get into the circus? 
Uh, so many generations are happening, I don't know. Right. Yes. <laughs> so, how, you, you said you've just kind of been, did you start doing the pole holding Oh, recently, that or have you act, just started the act recently? That act, when I was little, I used to be the one go up there. Okay. But holding the pole, I started about five months ago. Performing, awesome. practicing about a year and a half or two. Sure. And it's like it's all your brothers and sisters, right? Uh, my sister, my brother, and my girlfriend. Oh, that's awesome. So, what do you like about being in the circus? Uh, travel the whole world, basically, because not only the United States, I've been to other countries, Puerto Rico, yeah. Hawaii. So, basically, the tra the traveling, and I'm used to it. That's what my everybody, my generation, my family does. So sure. I'm used to it. It's kind of like a legacy. Yep. That's really cool, man. What's your favorite acting show other than yours? Uh, other than mine, would be the crossbows. That guy was in it to win it, dude. He's awesome. Alright, thank you so much, Jose. I You're welcome. It. Thank you. Thank you so much. Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus years ago. I, as a small boy, watched the clowns in the circus. I said, That's what I want to do travel with the circus and make people laugh. I started out doing my own little show, performing for birthday parties, fairs, carnivals, and then eventually I said, You know what? I want to travel with the circus. I got the call from the legendary one and only Loomis Brothers Circus out in uh, Florida, and I went off with them. That was the very first show I was on and I was on with them three consecutive times and then just so recently this past September I joined Jordan World Circus and I've been with them okay. since September awesome. and I plan on being with this show for many 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 more years. That's awesome so how long in total have you been with any of the circus? And in total general? in general I've been with the circus going on now for two and a half years. Wow that's so exciting. Start so off with a like, dream. This was your dream? This was the dream. I know you're living <laughs> now awesome. I'm living it. So what is it that you like about the circus? Well, the thing I like about the circus, well, what's not to like about it? You get all the cotton candy, popcorn you like. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All. I love traveling. I love making people laugh. And that's what I love and that's what I enjoy about it. You know, and meeting new people kind of like yourself and getting out there, you know, meeting a new person every day. Just bringing one smile to that person. That's all that matters to me. And that's what I love about the circus, that's is awesome. being able to bring just that person a small joy in their life. That's way cool. Well, Belko, at our channel, we're all about adventure, and one of our big adventures is traveling. And so do you feel like the circus is like that kind of huge adventure? Almost definitely. I get to travel all over. We get to travel all over the East Coast, West Coast, South Central, North Central, all over that's awesome. the United States. We travel pretty much everywhere. That is really exciting. <laughs> What's your favorite act in the circus? Program? Well, besides <laughs> mine, I will have to say the elephants, the that. chiffon, and then also Saturn Garcia, his cannonball, Saturn Garcia. We haven't seen that yet. Yeah, well, that's in the show, but of course this area is a little small. We right. couldn't fit the cannon in here. Oh. And his wheel, he does a fantastic wheel act. But those are a few of my favorite acts within the show. Also, Ruby, Ruby we call her the hot red Ruby. You seen her in the show earlier, her hula hoops, that's one of my oh, favorites. Oh yeah, that well, was really cool. And then the amazing Andy, he does a juggling act. And he is by far one of the greatest jugglers I've seen. That's super And uh, he's, he does a pretty good job. So where are you going next, Bubba? Next? Oh my goodness, I'd have to search it up. 
Next, we're going to, I think, Cheyenne, Wyoming. Okay. So, hey, if you guys are in Cheyenne, Wyoming next week, hit up Jordan Circus. And you can see Belko Come and check us out. and the elephants and beautiful, beautiful people that are in oh, this Oh, yes. Circus. Most definitely. Check it out. Link in the description. Thank you, Belko. Thank you so day. much. I appreciate you. Awesome. All right. So, there you go. That was my night at the circus. I, it, I cannot tell you enough how amazing it was. Like, I had such a great time, guys. It was so much fun fun it was visually stunning it was just it was wild and it was wonderful and i i loved it and you know what those performers they are so impressive for several reasons number one they are incredibly strong number two they are so passionate and they pour their heart and soul into every single show that they do and you know there's a couple things that struck me especially talking to belco you know there's one it's all about the people, you know, he, he said he just wanted to make people happy, like, make people laugh. Every th adventure that we have in our entire lives, it's all about the people. It's about the people that we go with, it's about the people that we meet while we're there, and it's about the people that we help along the way. That is the reason to have adventures, any adventure. You can go to the craziest place on earth, and it won't be nearly as cool if you don't have somebody to share it with. Seriously. The reason we have adventures is because of people. So whatever you're doing in your life, make sure you're paying attention to the people that are around you. And two, the other thing that totally struck me is that, you know what? Whatever dream you have, you have to follow it. Because no matter what, even if you think your dream sounds crazy, if that's what makes you passionate, if that's what makes you come alive, you have to do it. You can make your dreams come true. Belko made his dreams come true, guys. You can make your dreams come true. You just have to pursue it. And you know, like, like he said, you know, take little steps. Every day, he started with his own show, and then he moved on to bigger shows, and then he became a full-time clown, you know? And then pretty soon he was traveling with the circus, as was his dream, and guys, that is how you do it. Whatever your dream is, take steps to achieving it today. If people have told you that your dream is crazy or that it's, it's, you need a different dream or a more sensible dream, you know what guys? The world doesn't need more people working sensible jobs. The world needs more people who are passionate about what they're doing and who really have come alive. So find what that thing is and go do it. And it's gonna be amazing. Seriously. Let's do that, guys. Let's come alive. Let's find those things that we're passionate about and let's do them with every fiber of our being. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and thank you for sharing this video with all your friends. Let's go on an adventure.